We descend upon a mosaic of water and grassy meadows. On screen text reads Arctic lagoons. Where do water and land meet? In coastal wetlands, the boundary between the two may not always be clear. This vast area is in constant ecological limbo. Land is partly submerged, aquatic plants creep up on the shore, salt water mixes with fresh. Lagoons are semi-permanent systems, characterized by shallow, brackish water. Sand spits and barrier islands nearly enclose these lagoon systems and protect them from strong storm surges. Lagoon systems support the development of larger areas of coastal wetlands made up of salt marshes, mud flats, and submerged eelgrass meadows. Alaska's shores are unique and unparalleled as they contain some of the last naturally functioning lagoon systems in North America. Waves lap on shore. Bees buzz near a field of wildflowers. These seemingly quiet environments can be as dynamic as a village square where its residents are always coming and going. During the short but busy Arctic summers, various species of migratory birds make their way to these sheltered environments to nest, feed, and raise their young. Invertebrates such as mussels, clams, and snails make up an impressive buffet for these long distance travelers. A flock of swans feed in the water. A pair of eiders swim away. Our avian friends spend but a few months in these northern latitudes before taking off for their wintering grounds. Many travel from different parts of the world, Antarctica to the Pacific Islands, Africa and Australia. Lagoons become a gathering of nations for the avian community. A large flock of ducks fly past us. Grass blows in the wind. On a calm summer day, one might see a small school of fish darting across the water. Many fish are born in lagoons and continue to use it as a nursery until they are large enough to migrate elsewhere. Other fish spend part of their life cycle in brackish water to adjust to the changing salinity of their environment as they move from fresh water to salt water. While fish have different uses for these lagoons, their transitory nature is one thing they all have in common. An underwater view reveals a variety of fish. The sun rises above the coast. These lagoon systems are a place where the tundra meets the ocean. Each habitat within and around its edges makes up a dynamic ecosystem and its effects go far beyond the tundra. On screen text reads Bering Land Bridge National Preserve partnership with the Student Conservation Association, created by Savannah Glasscock, SCA, and Lupe Zaragoza, NPS. Drone footage courtesy of Jojo Phillips. Filmed on location at Safety Sound. Music, Easy Limit, by Kevin Mackley.